Now, for more on this, we were earlier joined by Joachim Bitterlich, former German ambassador to NATO and former European diplomatic and security advisor to German Chancellor. Take a look at what he had to say. First of all, uh, I'm convinced the recent meeting of NATO foreign ministers had especially one purpose. Reassure Ukraine that the Western world is standing with them and continuing to support them. This was the clear message of NATO ministers, a clearly background Gaza, it's clear. Uh, but there was a clear common view of the Europeans in NATO with regard to the Ukraine, there's no problem. Second, uh, the war is developing, let's call it like the First World War in 1916, 1917. Uh, uh, there are less uh, poor offensive steps. Uh, the war is rather defensive. The Russians have become better in the last months, yes. Uh, they have changed their strategy. They have changed their approach. And it's, uh, let's say, actually, it's to some extent, let's call it much nil. Uh, it's, uh, there are no more clear Ukrainian advances and Russian advances or defensive advances are limited. Uh, therefore, the winter will be, as always in that region, a difficult one. Uh, and don't forget uh, World War II, this is the last experience to this regard. The Germans have lost the war in winter in Russia. Ukraine is not far away from that. It's with Southern, okay, but they lost it too. And it's difficult to fight against Russians in winter. And it will be a much more defensive mood in the winter period than in the past six months. Uh, so I think Zelensky had, uh, has announced that, let's say, this certain change in, uh, in his last speech. Uh, it's clear. It will be a difficult period for the Ukrainians, but I don't see, let's say, the Russians, let's now in winter, winning that war. I don't see this.